Specific heat is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of unit mass of the substance through 1 degree centigrade. Consider a body of mass M at T degree centigrade. We supply heat of delta Q to raise its temperature by 1 degree centigrade. Then we have an expression delta Q is equal to MC delta T. Here, m is equal to 1 gram, which is the unit mass. Delta T is equal to 1 degree centigrade, which is the unit rise in temperature. Therefore, specific heat C is equal to delta Q. And its units are calories per gram degree centigrade. Here, you need to remember that the specific heat depends upon the nature of the substance and its temperature. Calorimetry is the branch of the physics which deals with the measurement of heat. It is based on the principle heat loss is equal to heat gain. Let me explain you the principle with a simple example. Consider a body with a high temperature 30 degrees and another body at low temperature of 10 degrees centigrade. When the latter is brought in contact with the body at high temperature, the high temperature body loses heat and the cold body temperature gains heat. Therefore, according to the principle, the heat lost by the heat body is equal to the heat gained by the cold body. Calorimeter is nothing but a device which is used in the measurement of heat to determine specific heat and latent heat. Now, let us see what does a calorimeter consist of. Calorimeter consists of a metallic vessel and a stirrer of same material, usually copper. This vessel is placed inside a wooden jacket which contains heat insulating material, usually wool. This setup ensures that the calorimeter is thermally insulated from surroundings. The surfaces of the wooden jacket are highly polished to prevent the radiation loss. A thermometer holder is provided to measure the temperature of the contents in the calorimeter. Here, when two bodies at different temperature are mixed together in the calorimeter, heat is exchanged between the bodies as well as the calorimeter. The calorimeter works on the law of mixture which is nothing but the calorimetry principle. The calorimetry principle is heat lost by the hot bodies is equal to heat gained by the cold bodies. Aim to determine the specific heat of a given solid using calorimeter apparatus weighing machine solid thermometer Regnold's steam heater calorie meter with stirrer and burner
mass of the calorimeter plus stirrer M1 is equal to 46.4 grams. Mass of the calorimeter plus stirrer plus water M2 is equal to 117.5 grams. Mass of the calorimeter plus stirrer plus water plus solid M3 is 345.6 grams. Initial temperature of water T1 is equal to 28 degree Celsius. Temperature of the solid T2 is equal to 90 degree Celsius. Resultant temperature of the mixture T3 is equal to 33 degree Celsius. S1 specific heat of calorimeter plus stirrer is 0.0923 calories per gram. S2 specific heat of water is equal to 1 calorie per gram. Specific heat of given solid S is equal to M1 S1 plus M2 minus M1 into S2 into T3 minus T1 by M3 minus M2 into T2 minus T3 which is 46.4 into 0.0923 plus 71.1 into 1 into 5 divided by 228.1 into 57. Therefore, the specific heat of the solid by method of mixture is equal to 0 0.02899 calorie per gram degree Celsius. Precautions The loss of the heat by radiation should be prevented by polishing the calorimeter. Thermometer should be removed with least loss of water. The solid should be in small pieces. Solid should be dropped into the calorimeter quickly and gently. Loss of the heat by conduction should be minimum by keeping wool in the wooden box. Temperature of the cold water should not be below the dew point. The water level in the calorimeter must be sufficient to immerse the solid pieces completely under water.